So let's install a patch firstly as quickly as possible. So we need two things, of course, a patch and second is boot image. For most of the devices, it should be boot image. So it's not kind of universal thing that I cannot be able to show you for all the devices, but I might be able to show you for some of the supported devices. Basically, it's kind of a similar thing for everyone. So first of all, what you have to do is after installing a patch for the first time, if your device is unrooted and if your device boot loader is unlocked, then you have to click on install, select a boot image to patch. In this case, because I'm using Poco F5, so it needs boot image. After that, you have to put a super key. That is basically kind of a password. So make sure it is actually good enough. It, it, is, it shouldn't be weak, by the way, because if it is weak, it will not give you the option to click on start. So at the bottom, you have one option named as embed key M, and the second one is named as start. Click on start. It will take some time and you will see successfully patched. And if you're getting any kind of error, then you have to search for it on the internet for, for MIUI, HyperOS and many other devices, many other custom ROMs I'm talking about. It should work fine, but, but for some of the custom ROMs, it might not work as intended. Let me show you after this patching it, you will see this file in download a patch patched image. So this is in the download folder. Now what we have to do is open the custom recovery. In this case, I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. If you're using TWRP, things shall work for you too. And if your device does not have the custom recovery, what you can do is you have to flash this file through fastboot and there's a different method for that. For now, I'll not be able to show you, but for now, what we have right now is available like this is the boot image. So moving into custom recovery, flashing the boot image and done. After doing all these things, simply reboot your device once and you will see a patch shall work for you without any kind of issues. After clicking there, after rebooting my device, opening a patch, it is not working by default. What we have to do is if you click on install, it will take same steps, but we do not have to click here. Just go back, click on the super key. Now put a password which you which you tried at the starting of the video, which I told you that. Make sure that is not a simple one. And done after this, after clicking all these things, click on done. That is it. And also click on install and you will see a patch is now started working. One of the advantages of using a patch is that it is password protected. So if you choose this super key, which means if you want to grant root permission for any particular app, you have to do this manually. You can even, you can simply clear that super key for every time. I mean, we have this option named as don't store super key in local, which simply means authenticate the super key every time the managers start. So it doesn't mean like if you have put your super key once, if you put your super key password once, then anyone can open a patch and grant root permission to any app. But if you choose to open, if you enable this option, no one will be able to grant the root permission unless they know super key and that is quite useful things in the terms of security also even if you try to grant a root permission you have the option named as exclude modification enabling this option will allow a patch to restore the modifications that is quite exciting thing a patch is one of the most exciting things exciting root solutions out there if you want to give it a try because it is not supported for many many devices like magisk but it is not that bad either. If you want to give it a try, you can check out that. The link is link for a patch is in the description for the boot image. You have to find it according to your device software. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.